Okay, so quadratics and perfect squares. This is what we're going to end up with today. We're going to say this, that if we, have, if we have a plus b, the quantity squared, what we really have is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. I'm going to make some sense of this right now by starting with this problem. x squared plus 16x plus, plus 64. Right? Look at this for a second. It's going to be x plus 8 squared. Why is that true? Because look at this for a second. We have x squared plus this 2 is this 2. a is 8 times b plus b squared and b squared is 8 squared. All right? This is actually not very difficult at all. I'm going to show you a bunch of examples of it so you can see this. But what we have here is x plus 8 times x plus 8. Let me remind you, this is really important, that exponents are not, exponents are not distributable over, over addition. Really, really important because so many people are going to try to do this. You cannot do that. Let's take a look at another one. <clears throat> we have x squared plus, oops, plus 10x plus 25. And I'm just making these things up in my head by using this little rule. We have here x squared plus 2 times 5x plus 5 squared, don't we? So what we know is that we have this. We have x plus 5 squared, <clears throat> right? And try this. Let's try this. Let's try. Let's try this one. X plus five times x plus five. Remember, if we're right, it has to give us this thing back. <clears throat> so, x times x is x squared. X times five is five x. Five times x is another five x, isn't it? And five times five is twenty-five. And we gather our like terms, we get x squared plus 10x plus 25. Let's try two more. Let's try x squared plus 18x plus 81. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm looking at these things and I'm like, as I look at them, I'm trying to figure out if I have this pattern. I'm asking myself, is this a perfect square? It is a perfect square. It's 9 squared, isn't it? So I'm asking myself, 2 times 9 equals 18, question mark, and yes, it does. So again, I know I have one here. Plus 9 times x plus 9, so x plus 9 squared, right? Try one more, see if you can figure it out. x squared plus 20x plus 1. 100. What are we going to ask ourselves here? Right? This is just one of the possibilities for factoring. So I'm like, okay, is this a, per is this a perfect square problem? It is a perfect square so it's because 100 is a perfect square and it's 10 squared, isn't it? And 2 times 10 is 20. So we know that we have x plus 10 squared. All right? So this is perfect squares technique. I hope it was really helpful to you. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Oh, comments are